Wow, Whew, that was a workout. We are back here on the Now Morning Show. I'm Lisa all the way up until uh, 8 o'clock with you. And it's Sports Friday, so Kent is not in. So we're sharing some of the sports interviews, Sports Watch. And I'm so pleased to have with me Brent Rahim, former Trinidad and Tobago national team player and futsal and beach soccer development manager for FIFA. Welcome to the program. Thank you very as much. As well as Paul Declay, Irish and Irish FA yeah. and a TTFA licensed football coach and head coach at Pro Series Football, locally based youth football organization. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good to have you guys on the program. And, you know, I'm very excited to have you both here on the program because we have a segment called TNT Talent Abroad. Mm. And Brent, you would be considered TNT Talent Abroad, right? <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> Technically? Well, I think so. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So, futsal development <laughs> and how it relates to football development. First of all, I'm not a sports person. Mm -hmm. So, that little bit of thing there, that's about it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, what for those of us, like, what's futsal? Mm. I mean, futsal essentially is um, the f form of the game, five aside form of the game right. that is under, well, it's under FIFA. It's um, well, obviously there's special laws of the game that is quite different from football. Mm -hmm. um, you have uh, special techniques, for instance, using the sole of the feet. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, basically, you know, we have endorsed this, this uh, form of the game okay. because we believe this is important for, you know, the development of players, but we understand that that futsal also offers an opportunity for players to to, to have a, a career that is maybe not in f the traditional football, okay. but they have a chance to play a smaller version that is more exciting, that is fast-paced. I would say a little bit equivalent to the T20 yeah, <laughs> style. Yeah. So yeah, and it's and it's growing How rapidly. How popular is it in Trinidad and Tobago? Well, I mean, I think you know because of our culture of probably playing more small-sided or small wool as we yeah, call it. Yeah. Um, I believe it's, it's growing. You know, okay. um, We recently had a team, actually a women's team that played in the Youth Olympics mm -hmm. that I attended as well as part of the technical study group. Mm -hmm. um, it was the first time that futsal was played um, for women and men <coughs> in the Youth Olympics. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, I think slowly but surely the sport is definitely growing. Obviously, we need to continue to, to work with, uh, with the different clubs, with the different communities to really uh, <coughs> show exactly, you know, coaches and administrators, uh, the, the, the rules of the game is very important because it's not small goal. Right. It's, a, it's a different, obviously, there's a specific rules that apply to it, especially if you want to play at the international level, mm -hmm. um, which obviously is our responsibility. And so our role is to try to, to spread the word <coughs> as to how that is done and so that we help people that are actually working in this area and would like to to participate in, in futsal. So is that what <coughs> your role is as the development manager for FIFA? That's part of what you do? Well, uh, Go around definitely. The various yes, we yeah. travel. I mean, I've been traveling a lot. Actually, I was here recently for a course here in, in Trinidad, which we just completed a week ago, so actually, on Friday. So are you based ordinarily? I'm based in, in Zurich, which is, oh. the, which is the home of, home of FIFA yes. in Switzerland. Okay. Um, and yeah, and so my job is really in the development side. And so everything that is related to coaches, referees, uh, so we coordinate courses for, for instructors, okay. for, for, for coaches all over the world. So it's quite awesome. an exciting job. Speak German. And Bishan. And Bishan. <laughs> <laughs> so Paul, uh, football as an agent for change and development of youth in Trinidad and Tobago as a coach, how do you see that working? Yeah, you know, th that's part of what um, we were working on with while, while Brent was here is uh, hitting the grassroots level mm -hmm. at the younger ages and um, you know, getting them involved in a, in a healthy activity, a fun activity. And we, we really believe that um, implanting these uh, ideas in their minds at a young age, mm -hmm. the fun aspect of it and learning a sport, uh, we, can, we can, you know, reshape the culture a little bit at that level. Right. And hopefully that they will carry those positive attributes with them as they grow to the older ages, you know. So you so. go into communities and work with young people in various, because, you know, community sport, is a big deal, as you said. People play small goal and yes. so on. And there's a program that you have that you go into community. Yeah, I mean, we we are based uh, in the west, out right. of Saint Anthony's College, and okay. we do. Yeah, we go into the community specifically in that area right. and do. You know, we engage a, a lot, quite a large number of kids mm -hmm. uh, there, and, and get them. You know, get them in, have them playing, and, and you know, keep them busy. Yeah, keep them all yeah. that energy. You yeah. know, you okay. want to channel it into something exactly. very productive yeah. so you know most people see the stars 
on the football field. Mm. Who are these women stars again? Like um, Messi, right? Mm -hmm. He's yeah. played football, yeah, right? Neymar, yeah. Neymar, and all yeah. That's where they want to be. Yeah. But behind those stars are coaches. So talk to us about uh, uh, coaching as a profession, as a career. Do you also guide young people towards, you know? It's, uh, I think that um, there's a lot of room for growth in that field in the whole Caribbean where, mm -hmm. um, you know, the rest of the world has moved forward and, and coaching is a profession in, in many sports. Uh, yes. It's a huge, in the U.S., a very well-respected profession that you can make a career out of. So, you know, um, part of the work that we do in educating ourselves as coaches is to try to bring some of that here as well. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, if, if we can... You can also have a career outside of just playing. There's, yes. there's, there's coaching, there's physios, they have sports scientists now. So right, exercise physiologists. I've yeah, met um, yeah. Mar Marissa Gibson Bailey is our right. exercise physiologist, yeah. sports scientist, trained mm -hmm. in Trinidad Tobago, and I've seen her in her lab coat, you know, testing elite athletes and yes. sort of mm -hmm. helping them to understand their body. Yeah. I, d I don't understand the science behind it, but certainly the mm -hmm. science behind Football, for example. Yes, yeah, certainly. Yeah. I mean, a mm -hmm. huge room for growth for, for young people coming up. You mm -hmm, know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, when do you leave? I actually leave on Monday. You leave on Monday? Yes, right. yes. Right. So, yes. you have more work to do on the ground here, or it's just about relaxing a little bit at home? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm bit in the boat, you know. It was the first time actually being here working yes. in my capacity as FIFA, you know. Right. So, obviously, I, I took the opportunity to stay and uh, meet with some of the colleagues. I was just actually at my former school, uh, St. Anthony's College. Oh, so okay. Is that the link? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so, you know, to give them, you know, yeah. to give them a little pep talk as well. Yes. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm also relaxing, but also, you know, at, at FIFA, generally, you never really stop working. Yeah. You're always on, you know, always it's taking on the, the, next, the next trip or the next course that we have. So, uh, actually doing my B license as well in coaching as well at the same time because for futsal because I recognize that this is also quite important yes. for, for what I'm doing and, and, and also to, to be able to, to assess yeah. my coaches and my instructors that work for me as well. It's important that I'm, I'm on top of what's going on in terms of the development of the sport. Okay, so we have like 30 seconds left mm -hmm. and Brent, I want to give it to you. Mm -hmm. to, you know, you, you started off as a player, St. Anthony's, yeah. and now you're at the pinnacle of where football is, FIFA. Mm -hmm. Any advice to a young person looking on who's probably on their way out of the house now getting to school <laughs> and they're getting this little tip from you? Yes, I mean, my advice really is, you know, follow your dreams. I mean, for me, I, I played, you know, obviously football at school level here in Trinidad, but the reality for me was that I tried to balance the, the both. I went on to play for University of Connecticut in the U.S. and then went on, fortunately, to play uh, professionally in Bulgaria and and um, in England. And I mean, I would say that the important for any young person is to focus on balancing school and football or, or sport in general, yeah. to find the right balance and, and keep uh, going, reaching for the stars and keep focusing on, on fulfilling all your, all, your, all your dreams. Excellent advice there. Thank you so much, Paul Deckley and Brent Rahim for joining me this morning. I feel like I want to play futsal now, <laughs> but not on the show, not this morning. We're taking a few messages. Come right back here on the No Morning Show after this.